hello. Hey. Hi. Henry. Hi. Yes, I play Henry Cruz. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I would love to know, like, what message you wanted to tell us through Henry. Yeah. Uh, I, what I wanted to say through Henry is that there are handsome Filipino men out there who, um, you know, aren't straight. <laughs> and and they, they they you know there's bisexual gay, there's all colors of the rainbow LGBTQIA and, and that's and that's what he, Henry can represent and he's successful and he's comfortable in his own skin and I think we need to see more of that in people of color on screen and I, so that's one of the reasons why I felt so honored to to play my ethnicity like I am Filipino and to play this character that I'm not used to seeing depicted on television so I felt very lucky and fortunate that I got to play this kind of character that you don't normally see and is this character similar to you in real life well in real life I'm married to a man but um, when I was in high school yes I had a girlfriend and I was bi and I was figuring out who I was and that was actually one of my inspirations for the character Henry was I thought well what if I grew up and I what if I had grown up with 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 challenges but I persevered through all of them what would that look like what would what would Henry be if he really loved who he was and was comfortable and successful and that's who I played how long have you been married? Six years. Okay. And your husband is not here? He is here. He is not available for interviews, but he's very much here. He's actually with my friends right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there they are. It's cheating. <laughs> no, no, my friend. I brought my friends here. <laughs> like, he's like hanging out. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've seen you in different types of role in the past. Was it different for you to be part of a romantic comedy like this one? Oh, no, because I, I spent four years on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend as a, as a romantic love interest. And so doing a role like this felt kind of like I was at home. And working with this a cast like this that's so much fun and so warm and, and friendly and kind, it just felt like I was back at home on set in Crazy Ex. And Gloria is an amazing leader. And on Crazy Ex, I had amazing leaders. Aline Brosh McKenna, who wrote Devil Wears Prada, and, and Rachel Bloom, who starred in our show, help create the show and help write all the songs for the show. There's over 125 original songs on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And she was one of three writers who wrote every single one of those songs. And so I was around a lot of very creative, um, empowered uh, female leaders. And so I felt very excited. Empowered. Em empowered to, thank you. It's a little loud in here. I appreciate that. I can't even hear myself think. But that's why I felt so lucky to work with Gloria because it just felt like, oh my gosh, like I I, rem I know what that's like. I remember what it was like to work with Aline and Rachel and she was like, oh my God, I talked to them about you. And they love you. And I'm like, well, I love you too. So we all love you. <laughs> so it was, it was love all around. What would you love to tell to Gloria? What you'd like to say to Gloria? What would I like to say to Gloria? I'd like to say thank you for including me on this amazing journey. I will forever be grateful to you and thank you for inspiring me, not just with all the work that you do for people of color, the Latin community, the LGBTQ community. Thank you for being you and being a leader and being an inspiration. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And for your time. Thank you, I appreciate it, thank you. Bye. Bye.